So I um, was just going to offer my uh, so very sincere and hearty thank you to uh, Mayor Yukis, Trustee Rogers, and then Clerk Troike for continuously performing their jobs with poise and integrity from the dais, while the cabal never ceased to act quite the opposite, time and again for the past two years. It is my opinion that your resilience up here reminded us all that our local politics could return to a more collegial state where, though maybe we weren't always happy, everyone was at least more professional and agreeable. We used to be a community in harmony, more so than anything we have seen these last two years. And we all voted to bring that back. Tonight, I'm, I'm surprised, but I'm happy to be able to welcome the new mayor and trustees and clerk. And I'm sure I speak for many when I say that we are excited to see such a positive change come to our village. On that note, uh, I will go into, if I have a minute left, I too don't want to see the um, overturning of the veto tonight. I don't know, I, I got a little confused with the back and forth on what's on the agenda, off the agenda. I felt that that was just gonna be another quid pro quo. And to update everybody on the quid pro quo that we had to suffer two years ago with the bringing Odelson on board, um, in just two short years, less than two short years, the um, citizens of Homer Township and the village of Homer Glen have paid $287,166 to Odelson Sturk, um, $231,000 have gone out in attorney fees from the village and $143,900 from the township. And uh, we never had, we never had, we functioned just fine without attorney fees like that before. So, you know, um, I'm hoping that we can restore, and I don't know, and I'd like to know what we seconds. got for those. Thank you. I'd like to know what we got. 